Hello everybody, Gunther here. Um, today I'm going to be playing some Crusader Kings 2. No one I haven't been able to get together in a while, and, well, I'd like to get some recording done for the, for the channel. Uh, the reason I picked Crusader Kings 2, it's a really fun game, I enjoy it immensely. And we're go and I'm going to be playing as the Byzantine Empire. A little bit of history on them. They, it, this, the Byzantine Empire is the remnants of the Roman Empire, which once spanned, well, a lot. It spanned Africa, large portions of the Middle East, all the way up to England. It spanned Spain, all France, all the Holy Roman Empire, things like that. Then, the empire was, eventually the empire began to weaken, and one emperor, for the life of me, I can't remember his name, split the empire in two, into the eastern half and the western half. Now, the western half didn't really fare so well, it ended up getting obliterated pretty quickly on, or pretty early on, excuse me. But, the eastern half survived, and it renamed itself the Byzantine Empire with its capital of Constantinople. It and that empire reigned for a while and it ended up taking large portions of the territory. It ended up getting Rome, large portions of the Africas back, or from Africa back, and even some of Spain. Their empire was strong, but it is in regression right now and let's see if we can bring it up to its former glory, and even to the glory of the Roman Empire in the time that this game gives us. Now, as of current, the Byzantines are in a sorry state. We're at war with the Seljuk Saranate, uh, Sultanate, Sultanate, excuse me. If I'm not pronouncing that correct, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with pronunciation. So, let, we're at war with them right now, and we're losing pretty badly. Every other game I've played, it just hasn't gone well. We've gotten our butts kicked. So, I'm hoping that I'll be able to beat off the Seljuk and even take some of their territory. Now, let's get started. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. We are at war with the Seljuk, and they have a giant-ass army. Now this game, you play as a specific character of a dynasty, and your objective is to make your dynasty as strong as you possibly can. And you accomplish that through several things. The re remaining leader of the um, land that you own, so right now the... the Dokus, the House Dokus, I think, that is the ruling family of the Byzantine Empire. And we could actually, depending on circumstances, we could lose emperorship of the or control of the empire. And we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen by having a strong heir and all these other things. I'm old. I'm 60, which is a little bit tough. So I'll probably die soon, and my heir will have to take over with this massive war that I have going on. But one thing that you need to do in this game is you need to pick an ambition. And the ambition, ambitions help you build up some of your things. Some things. Like, all my thing, all my, um, skills are a piece of crap. So I'm going to, and since I'm gonna die, I really don't feel like working them up. So I'm going to want to attempt to amass wealth, which is, uh, it's always a good goal, right? Excuse me, um, but what I do need to do now that I picked my ambition, I need to call in allies to this war of mine, and I only had one ally, the small kingdom of Georgia. Not very bad. I mean, I'm partial to Georgia because, well, that's my home state. I'm from the state of Georgia in the United States, in case you were wondering. Now, what... They have a giant army here, 18,000, which is a very large army for this game. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to raise all of my soldiers, all of my levies. And I'm going to send them 
to Prussia, or however you pronounce that. And some of them are stuck on islands, and I don't feel like dealing with them, so I'm going to send them home. Um, but I, what I am going to want to do is start the game, obviously, because it, this is a mass strategy, a grand strategy game. And what you you can pause and unpause the game, adjust the speed and all that, but it's really in-depth. You have to micromanage quite a few things in this game. And one of that's your military, all your soldiers. Each one of these men represents a single soldier. And I might want to change the... Hmm. Actually, what I'm going to want to do is bring all that back. It's going to be a pain in the butt. But I'm going to take a, a risky make a risky decision here. I'm going to increase the crown authority, making it so that my levies have to give me more, because I need soldiers to fight their men. So I'm going to see if I can get the high, or uh, yeah, high crown authority. Okay, Georgia can't join my war. That's a problem, I guess. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, well, this isn't going well right now. I need to pause this. I actually do need to summon my military so I don't get caught off too much off guard. This time I'm going to meet in Ikea. And if I fight them now, I'll get my butt kicked. So, But what I'm going to try and do is... If they agree to high crown authority, that'll make me almost a, um, absolute monarch, making me virtually all powerful. My people can't fight wars against each other, there are all these things, and the most important part is that I would get more levies, and the current support for this law is pitiful, so I'm just going to just stop. Just stop, buddy. Stop. Um, how do I stop this crown? There we go. Alright, well, I gave up on that. Obviously it wasn't going to happen. With the poor support plus a faction just formed that wanted me to have a lower crown authority. I mean, I might do that after... Oh, what's this? Has challenged you to a friendly game of something at the stadium in somewhere. This popular Byzantine game can trace its origins back to Persia and features two teams on horseback using sticks with nets to get a leather ball. Will I accept the challenge? Hmm. I'm, I think I'm going to accept this challenge. You spend a wonderful afternoon and play a tense game that ends in victory of your team, your opponent's team, or you know, and you depart the stadium as friends. Awesome. That guy likes me more. Sweet. Now some of our holdings are under siege. They are now attacking. But I don't know what this, why the, this war happened. I don't know. But the conditions of this war, the, of this war is that any land that he occupies when this peace treaty is signed, if he is the winner, he takes. And I'm, pre I'm fairly certain it's vice versa for me as well. So if I can kick his army off the, off of my land and start taking his land, I may be able to strengthen the empire and that'll be good so let's hope we can do that right now they are just mowing through my troops my men can't stop an army that large right now anyway soon though soon I will be able to yes I get it my holdings are under siege I'm getting my butt kicked and they're slowly working their way to me that is, as always, a problem. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to... Gotta pause the game really quick, because there's something I'd like to check out. Um, Retroons, that'll just take too long. Mercenaries, here we go. This is interesting. I can raise an army of 3,000 more men. 
So what that would do is that would increase my army to about 15,000, which would make it a formidable force against them. Right now I think they're going to focus on taking my land. Hopefully they won't go for my army, because right now it's a little bit small, and I can't really rely on it to beat his giant army. Let's see what he does. If he just stays conquering my area, I can make my army ready, and their army size is going to go down, because they're going to have to... They're going to have to fortify their areas and things like that, that they've taken. And hopefully their army will get low enough to where I can beat it. But unfortunately, the Muslim technology is a lot stronger than mine. And I need a larger force to beat them. But also, their supply train will be longer because... I think that, yeah, the capital's over here. So it takes a while for them to get their troops together which is an advantage for me. It's gonna arrive on February 9th in Kainite. So right there, he's heading there. So far he's extremely far away from my armies, which is really good for me. Okay, this is even better. He is besieging my, me, which is okay for now, because his army is going to be weaker than mine now. If I let him take a few more places before I march my grand army to him, I might be able to beat him. If I... oh, something happened. Um, religious imprisonment. I really hate these. I really hate these, because i rebellion. I'm going to ignore it for now. <sighs> my army isn't as big as his right now, but... Actually, it is bigger than his. That's good. It's really good. And I may... let's see... I'll, I'm gonna pause the game after I get my army together, see if there are any more troops that I can, um... Has inherited the du a duchery, um... okay. Oh, I've inherited something making my land too big. So I'm going to give my son a title. Yay. My son now has a title of zone. Great. Now what I'm going to need to do is check this. There's those men there, obviously. Can't help that. Actually, my overall army is a lot larger than his. So I may be able to beat him. Granted, he's taking a lot of land and it's not looking good for me right now, but... If I can get my men together, I'm gonna speed up the game a little bit more, because frankly I don't feel like waiting forever. Because this hopefully won't be a very long video. Um, I may have to ditch those guys. Alright, this army is rather large. Alright, work can be tedious. We can problem solved after it pops up. I've tried to have it complete. I can rest in heaven. It's good. It's, it's good. Alright. Now, we're under siege there, and this adds a grand total of a thousand more troops. I think I can wait a little bit longer. Their army will get slightly weaker, and mine will get a little bit stronger. See, they're about under 13,000. Yes, they're under 13,000 now. Granted, they're just obliterating my guys. This is good. This is really good. Okay, those guys aren't Cummings, and they'll take too long for them to get here, so I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to have you meet here. Right now they're ripping through the countryside. This isn't good for me. But if I can just get my army together and beat his off the peninsula, or not peninsula, that's a wrong thing, off the, out of, off the border and back into his land, then I'm going to stand a good chance of beating him. Well, a chance of beating him, I should say. And so now that my army's ready, I'm going to march. And get close to him. Alright, the Burgess are barely able to pay their taxes. And lower the taxes for the city. I'm sh okay, I can vote on minimal city taxes in exchange for more loyalty and things like that, and guys liking me a bit more. I think I can do that. Because frankly, I don't want my empire to fracture... Well, I am at war with the one of the largest factions in the go god in the game. 
Now that's a problem. He has a second army now. And I can't defeat that. Or both of them. Especially if they come and combine. I won't be able to beat that army. It'll wipe me off the map pretty much. And so what I'm going to do is a pow is attempt to get here before his cavalry can get here to reinforce his men. And I think that's what they're doing. I think they're coming here in an attempt to reinforce. And it might actually succeed. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Going to slow it down a little bit. Now he's going to arrive very soon and the battle will be on. But the question is, will he be able to? Sem All right. He has an uh, advantage right now, which isn't good. He's going to arrive there on December 17th, and hopefully it'll take him even longer. Hopefully I'll have battered his army down enough to where I'll win the battle. But it's not looking like it right now. I may win, but I'll be weakened. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, his lines have fallen. His lines have collapsed. And so I won the battle. I now captured someone in battle. Awesome. Now their army has been crushed. Pretty much. And so I'm going to follow him in an attempt to... defeat him before... he can reinforce. That's my goal right now. Wow, I got there before his men did. Fail. Alright, he is marching on Daluch right now. Hopefully I'll be able to beat them... Uh, before he can get to Daluch, so I can get back to Daluch and crush him. And crush his remaining soldiers. And so I'm not going to be concerned about that. I'm concerned about the larger army right now. The other army is pretty badly battered. February 8th, February... Alright, I need to pause it and recoup, get things. Alright, my daughter now needs education. You, my chancellor. Let's see, you're going to arrive there on February 8th. I'm going to get there on January 30th. So I'm going to be able to combat his army by the looks of it. And hopefully I'll be able to beat him into submission there. And take all my land back, obviously. Because that's... I need to take my land back and end up m marching on his. It's now... Alright, awesome. Let's see if my men will be able to beat his. But I really need to be careful, because he does still have an army of 3,000, which is formidable. Alright. Um. It's still a close fight, but I have more men, and hopefully I'll be able to... Yes, his lines are collapsing. Now, and he is going to be in full retreat very soon. And I just won. Awesome. Now I'm going to march them there to take out that army, which now is... Uh, to take out that army, hopefully. I'll get there on March 21st. I'll get there on March 20th. Alright, so I'm actually going to go this way. And defeat his cavalry army. And deal with them later. Um, okay, let me see. I'm actually still making money during this war, so this is good. Because sometimes my your infrastructure can collapse while you're at war, and it's really bad. So hopefully I'll be able to beat his armies, because I cannot let his armies stay alive. I need them gone, pretty much. And if I can get rid of them, I'll stand a good chance of being able to take his men, take his, get some, gain some land in this fight. And, yeah, his lines are broken again. This is good. Now, he's really not got me much of a problem anymore. Who I'm concerned about is him, which is still 3,000 strong. Alright. Gotta get there on June 5th, which is... God, why is my land so long? Large. Um, need to defeat him. Big time. Now it seems like my land is like huge and it takes me forever to navigate it all. Mm, it stinks that things 
fuck are happening. Alright. Actually, this is good that I'm attacking his... him here. As well, that'll weaken that arm even further, to where it really won't be much of a threat to me. And I'm... It's down to 700 men, which isn't a threat at this moment, at this point. Like, that army there, which I didn't even engage, is just as big as the one, the one that started out at over 6,000. Now, they're trying to run away, and they're going to succeed by a single day. It stinks, but, I mean, it just happens sometimes. Um, I'm seeing if I can get a little ploy where I will be able to take him. It's August 3rd. I'm uh, I'm getting there on August 4th, so I'm, I'm just gonna deal with him and then try to cut him off somewhere else. But he's bringing his men together in another in another attempt right there, so that's going to stink. But it has to be done. I'm going to have to fight his armies head on, full frontal assault, all that jazz with his combined armies. I think that's the last of his armies and I should be able to reclaim my land after that. After I take this. Because there's no way it's going to be able to retreat at this point. It may be getting a little boost of men, but hopefully I that won't be too many men for me not to be able to handle. Because if I lose my army, it might be a large, it'll be a big problem. And it doesn't look like I'm going to lose it. That's good. Now, historically, the Byzantines lost this war, and we were in even further decline ever since. So, I may be able to turn the tides of history here and make the Byzantines, once again, a force to be reckoned with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to take back my land, because I don't like them having my land. I don't like it at all. And so I'm just gonna slowly march through and take my land back. Hopefully they won't be able to get a giant army together again. Um, just to be safe, summoning all my troops again, except for these two, because they're annoying. Gotta summon up troops and get them and uh, there. Going to summon them there and. Mercenaries. Can I get some mercenaries? I mean, I'll start to lose money, yes, but it might be worth it to... <sighs> Excuse me. It might be worth it to get some extra men. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have them go there. Just get some extra men together. Just in case he's able to get another army ready, so... I'm gonna start losing money, which is bad, but hopefully it won't be too big of a hit to where I won't be able to keep these guys and I'll just be bankrupt. That would suck. That would just suck really badly. Um, lower crown authority. I can deal with that. I'll... If they come to me with that, I will accept, because I frankly don't like the higher crown authorities. I was just doing that as hopefully a chance to win this fight. Now they're moving, and I don't like it. Alright. Now I've beaten that. Just gonna beat that other one really quick. See what they're doing. Just trying to get rid of them having troops in my land. And so, alright, I need to attack that army again. And hopefully that'll be the end of this army. And, but they may still be able to summon another large army. Yeah, I'm losing a little more than a month. One a month. So I have 124 in my treasury. Wait, where's he going? Nubra and December 15th. Let's see when I would arrive here. December 6th. Alright, so I can attack him. Do, 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 do. So I'm just gonna leave that B for now. Now I may have a minus and he may have a plus, but he has a lot less men than me. Hopefully that'll just be enough for me to beat him up. Beat him back and destroy what's left of his grand army. 
Okay, 700 men. I've been capturing lots of people, so I've gotten kind of lucky in this. Because I'm assuming I'm just gonna... Okay. Of these guys, I'm going to send here. Now I have a secondary army. Where's he going? Abaned. And I'll send it there, too, to just pretty much eliminate the last of their men. Hopefully they won't be able to summon another army for a while. And if they do, I will be in trouble, though. Um, it's going to be tough. But I think I can do it. What these other guys are going to start doing is taking this territory. Well, these guys are going to focus on getting my territory back. I captured someone else. This is awesome. I'm doing really well right now. Um... And in a little bit, I should be able to summon more troops. And I can just... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, hold it, it's at 100% right now. Can I offer peace? Let's enforce demands. Let's see. He loses 200 prestige, pays 800 gold to me. I think I'm just going to enforce demands now, because he is actually imprisoned by me. So I'm going to send that. I won the war. I'm now rich. Life is good for the Byzantines. So I'm going to take all my men back. I lost no land in fighting the Siljuk. I mean, I got to. I had to release him from dungeon, from the dungeon. But that's okay. I can deal with something like that. And usually in games, my experience is. I end up beating the Siljuk, or not beating the Siljuk, excuse me, the Siljuk breaks apart and I can just slowly take their land, which will be good. Now I'm rich though, so I don't have to worry about money, and life is just grand. And on that note, I think I'm going to stop recording, and I'll see you guys in part two. Alright, have a nice day.